Did you know 90% of text messages are read within the first three seconds of someone receiving it? Did you know 98% of text messages are read by the recipient? Did you also know in this wholesaling real estate game, whenever you reach out to potential motivated sellers, that you get a, like a 35% response rate from text messaging normally? Well, I mentioned it on a recent Flippinar that I had it available. A lot of people have reached out to me. I mentioned it vaguely to someone that asked a question about it. Well, here's your opportunity. <laughs> you already know I had to come up with a name for it, texttheflip.com. I'm going to show you how to use it. Stand by. Let's get it. Flip man, flip man. It's the flip man. Flip man, flip man. You want some money in your hand? In your hand. Flipping houses without credit or your cash. cash. Get that bag. Hello, guys. This is Ty, a.k.a. the flip man. Text messaging. Uh, you've asked for it. Texttheflip.com. It is an unbelievable way to find deals, find motivated sellers. As in, in the opening of this particular video, in the intro, I mentioned 90% of text messages are read within the first three seconds. Those stats are the date of this video. 98% of the messages are read by the recipient, all right, and with a 35% response rate according to the numbers. So uh, what I'm going to show you in this particular video, because uh, it's basically a training. I try to get as in-depth as possible. Sometimes I leave things out because I take for granted what I know and others may not know, so forgive me. But with that being said, if you ever see something that you don't know, especially technical stuff, just simply go here to YouTube and do a search for it, like with dealing with an Excel spreadsheet, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft, Excel spreadsheet. Just go there and ask a question. How do I remove duplicates? How do I edit a sheet? How do I just whatever? How do I name a sheet? How do I save it? If you don't know something, just go there and ask. You will thank me later. Definitely. It's all there. So there are really no excuses. Okay, so it's going to go in phases on this. Like I say, this is a training because I want you to understand how to use it. First, we're going to show you how to identify where you go, how, what area you're going to target and who are you going to target to build a list. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with Digulator, a.k.a. PropStream. All right, you don't have to use that. I'm just telling you that's what I use and that's what you're going to see in the example. Okay, so you're going to learn how to target an area and who to target. Now, I personally like free and clear. But there will be other options there. You can do foreclosures, pre-foreclosures, high equity, uh, vacant properties, um, and so on. But again, once we get in there, it'll make more sense if you've never seen it before. All right, the next thing you do, once you have the list, then you're going to go over to skiptoflip.com to access and to um, get the phone numbers from for your particular list. So you can text message them. So skip to flip.com, aka skip vault. You get a discount by going through my my skip to flip site, skip skip to flip.com. I wish I had the t-shirt on, but I have to have this one on because this is a new video. So and then once you have the actual list plus the phone numbers, then you get over to text to flip.com, which I'm a reseller of batch leads, but you get a, a tremendous discount by going through my service. But again, I'm going to show you how to use it all. Hopefully it's not confusing. You have the opportunity because it's a video, it's free, you can watch it over and over again. So with all that being said, so you're going to go from day later, skip to flip, text to flip. All right? So day later, skip to flip, text to flip. Resellers on, on all platforms for other services or whatever, but you get discounts by dealing with me. So enough of me rambling. Let's get over here so we can get this bread or learn how to get this bread through text messaging. Okay, so let's get into this part of 
of uh, getting ready to start your uh, text message uh, campaign, trying to find deals, also known as SMS. All right, so the first thing you're going to have to do is to identify what type of list you want to build. Now, um, I normally go with uh, absentee owners, which is non-owner occupied. I mean, they own it. They don't live there. Free and clear because I want the equity to be there. Um, single family because we're talking about houses. <clears throat> I want them to have owned it for at least a year. And then you have to choose the type of neighborhood you're going to you're going to deal with, whether it's um, a neighborhoods or deers and dog neighborhoods. And then you got B and C in between. So it's going to be up to you on what you want to target. Now, you can do more types of lists, which once I get in here to the filter, I'll show you. So we can identify an area um, because I know the market, because this is, you know, where I live and do have done most of my uh, house deals to date or whatever. I can just use the um, the uh, the shape tool here. Oh, and by the way, we're here on um, uh, uh, Prop Stream, which is AKA Delulator or whatever to um, to do this with. All right, now you don't have to build your list here, but it's a really good tool because it offers much more than building lists. I'm going to show you a couple of things just because of how I have to do this. So. Now you can, you could, you could do your search by the entire county, uh, that you want. So if I was going to do, uh, Jefferson County, which is where, uh, this is located. So that you would have to put in the name of the county, comma, and, and the state. So it should just drop down there if you have it typed in correctly. So it pulls up all the properties, right? In the county. Uh, or you can specify by the name of a particular city. All right. If I wanted to do, um, we'll just say, um, I don't know, Miami, uh, Florida. So you can do it that way. You can do Miami Dade County. You can just do Miami. So everything that's listed under Miami, you could do that. Or if you want to do a zip code, so we'll just say three, five, two, zero, five local zip code here. So I could just pull the zip code if I wanted to. So those are going to be the ways that you can do it. So just to clear this, um, let me zoom out. So I want to do it um, by targeting a certain area. So, which I've already done it, but I want to just show you. Um, so I go over here, and it takes a little you getting used to. But basically, what you do is you click. You don't have to hold or anything. You drag to where you want it to go. So if I want to go here, click, click, then I can click here. And that's this is a pretty wide area. It just looks small here on the screen. You can blow this up if you want to in out, you know. So, all right. So now I would just do my search, right? So it's going to pull up those properties in this general area right here, which um, a good portion of this is going to be an A slash B, maybe a little C neighborhood or whatever, um, maybe a little D mix in there, but for the most part, uh, A and B. Or whatever. So while it's trying to filter out, um, and pull the list, I'll go over here and I want to, do, this is the filter. I want to do non owner occupied and I'm going to use free and clear right now. As you notice, there are other options here on market, vacant liens, pre foreclosure auctions, bank owned cash buyers, high equity, free and clear, bankruptcy, divorce, tax delinquencies, filter flippers and fail listing. So it, it, it's up to you on what you want to choose there. So again, I want to go with free and clear, even though high equity would do the same because normally it means it has a mortgage or some type of lien in place, but free and clear normally means, or it's supposed to mean they don't owe anything on it. All right. Okay. So uh, I want to do non owner occupied, which means they own it, but they don't live in it. The reason we do that is that it just increases your chances that they may be motivated to sell because it's not their primary residence. Not saying they don't sell those or you can't find great deals on those. We're just playing the numbers here. All right, property characteristics. So I want to do uh, residential, and then I want to do uh, single family. Now, if you're in a market where there are a lot of row houses like Philadelphia or Baltimore, uh, you might just want to do residential and exclude the single family. You just have to play with it to see how many it pulls. All right, so MLS, I don't want it on the market, so I'm going to say off market. 
than ownership. Uh, I want to deal with individuals. I don't want to deal with any LLCs or corporations or anything. And I want them to have only for at least a year. Now, if you're in a more heavily populated area, you may have to go up to five or even 10 years to get a smaller list. So it pulls about 2,200. All right. So now what you'll do is, all right, to, to save the list, if you're going to go with all of these as far as who you're going to target, um, you go here. Well, let me show you this. Say if you only want to do a thousand of these. All right. So what you would do is check all and then hit filter and you would change this to 1000. All right. So now it's only pulling a thousand or you may only want to do 500 of them. All right. Cause you may not want to pay for it that much as far as when you skip trades, once we get to that next step. All right. So, um, now, uh, you want to do add to list. So if you already have a list, you just want to add it to, then you find the list down here, right? Or if you want to create a new list, just go in here and name it and boom, and then save. Okay. I already have the list that I want here. So I'm going to go to my properties. All right. And then you go down to marketing, marketing, uh, uh, marketing list. Okay. So now once you go to marketing list, this is the list that, um, that I actually saved his a little more because I, I did it by the uh the point or two as far as on the map instead of by an actual zip or or a county or whatever. So it's a little more than that. But anyway, so now what you want to do is you could just go ahead and just down all download this by checking all, but it's going to give you a lot more stuff than what you need, and especially if you're not familiar with um uh uh move, maneuvering through Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets, then you, you really want to go over here to the little cog here, the settings, and you want to remove a lot of this stuff, okay? So you're going to need, and you can always go back and watch this video. The only things you need is one of the owner's name, first name, one of the owner's last name, the, um, the mailing address, the mailing city, the mailing state, and the mailing zip, and then the property that you're targeting. This is for your skip tracing purposes and when you upload your list. Then you need the, uh, this is the property address. This is the, the, the target property address, target property city, targeted property state, target property zip. So I'm going to uncheck unit. That's not important. I'm going to check county, uh, owner occupied. I don't need that. And then we're going to uncheck owner two. Uh, first name and last name, mailing care of name, I'm going to uncheck that. Uh, mailing unit, I'm going to uncheck that. I'm going to leave all of these, mailing address, mailing city, mailing state, mailing zip. And then I'm going to uncheck these right now. So now you go down here to property characteristics. I'm unchecking all of this. And I'm going to get with the guys and see if they can just have a uncheck all option. On the next one, tax assessment information, last, uh, and prior sale uncheck. Um, now you can keep all this information or add it if you're trying to do something else, but for the sake purpose of building a list for uh, your text message campaign, you need to uncheck all of this because it'll, it'll, it'll export all of this information that you won't need. All right. So I'm unchecking all of this. Then the pre foreclosure, all of that is gone. And then this marketing. Okay. So now hit apply. Okay, so now that's all you get in it, just the information that you actually need. So now it's already a check. So you always have to have a check, and then you hit export. So when it's exported, it's going to look like this. Okay. So now um uh you have the list, it's pretty much ready to be uh to skip trace. So to get it skip traced, uh what you would do is you would go over here to, um, which you don't have to use my service, but you get it at a, a discounted rate by going through my option, which is skip to flip.com. You go there and what it's going to do, I'm an affiliate with uh, my man Jamil's, uh, outfit, which is uh skip vault. So once you get over there, you hit log in. So you find property, it takes you over here, you get logged in, you got to set up an account, obviously, if you don't have an account set up. But once you do your log back in and um, you hit upload file. So I'm doing a batch now. Let me go back just to show you this. If you need to just do a single search, uh, the rate for that, I think is 50 cents. 
or when you're doing a batch, it's 15 cents. It's normally 18 cents. But again, if you go to skip to flip, you get that discount. If you go through, um, uh, my, uh, uh, landing page, which is skip to flip.com. So you hit upload file. So I'm going to select the file. And once you select the file, you go in here and just select the different options. So first name, last name, property address, which would be address, property city, which would be city, property state, which would be state, then zip, and then for the mailing is self-explanatory. So mailing address, uh, mailing, select mailing city, then mailing state. And then mailing, mailing zip. All right. And now you hit next. All right. And then hit next again. Then you put in your card information. All right. So I've already had a list skip. So I'm going to go back to, uh, orders. Okay. And so whenever you're finished, it's going to be impending, but whenever it's complete, it's going to look like this. And then from there, um, you can download and it'll be downloaded in a CSV file. Now, if it's downloaded in CSV, you can always save, save it in Excel if you need to do that, if you need it for another service or something. So, uh, that shows what it cost me, uh, 312. I skip traced, um, um, 2082 out of the, uh, 2139 that was uploaded or whatever. So, um, so that's what the cost was for that. Now, if you did a smaller list, I'll just do 15 cents time, whatever number you're doing. So now you get ready to go over here to um, text to flip. Just, and I'm going to show you how to number one, upload a list. And from there also um, how to use it, you know, how to find deals, how to use the actual service. Okay. So now you have um, you created your list. Um, you've skipped trace your list for the phone numbers and now you're ready to, um, set up an actual campaign and getting started, uh, using text to flip, which, um, I'm going to fill it of batch leads. And the reason you're going to go through text to flip instead of directly to batch leads is that you're going to get this offer. All right. Uh, for just $1, you get 500 text messages, uh, for free. All right. And so you'll go ahead and uh, get started and register. All right. And you can check out the pricing on that. I'm not going to show it because it probably will change. All right. So once you get logged in and set up, uh, you'll be on your dashboard. Whenever you're sending out messages, this is the actual platform here and how it actually looks. Right. So what happens here is like if I select this message right here, right it'll show you the uh the conversation say good day uh randy uh that gives the address if this is yours would you be open to a fair offer and i'm, J I'm jonah by the way all right and uh, i said jonah who are you and uh, who are you affiliated with so we haven't answered that my va that does this so we haven't we haven't replied back to that so normally what we will reply back to you is tell the name of your company and what you do or whatever now over here to the right um, over here to the actual right, then, um, you can see the information on the property. If you do view map, uh, if there's a Google image there, it's going to pull it up. Right. And this is an apartment company part. This is one of our multifamily, uh, targets here. This is in Nebraska or whatever. If I, if I blow this up, it'll show it, you know, closer up or whatever. So you can see it there. All right. Now, the other thing is, um, you can request Zillow information if you want to, uh, the information there, the phone numbers that are on the list. And it tells you the list that I'm targeting, uh, five to 10 units, USA, out of state. Uh, and I, that's how I named it. All right. Now, uh, if we replied to him, then we just go back and you reply down here. All right. Now, uh, you always want to verify the owner. If you think it's the owner, it just helps the, the system track on how accurate your lists are. Right. It's very important. So uh, by him answering this way, more than likely, that's the owner. 
Okay. Now, uh, just to go through a little of this. So whenever you're chatting with someone and just so you can sort of track everything, if it's a hot lead, you can select this. Uh, if it's a warm lead, uh, they, they want to sell, uh, thinking about it, gave you a price that may not work, but you may follow up with an offer later. Uh, not interested that goes on a separate list. So you don't have to really bother them. And then you have to the DNC and that's when somebody you have the wrong person or you got the right person. Don't ever call me again. You definitely want to add them there. Now you have the additional, um, options there. You can do a follow up. You set it in the follow up list, uh, refer to an agent. If you have that relationship, uh, wrong number, uh, make an offer, you know, so those are the d additional options there. All right. So in all of this, you can uh, pull up here on the hot list. Uh, you can do a warm list, you know, all of that's there. So, so, all, so it'll, it'll just pull whatever, you know, so we just got stuff on the warm list for this particular multifamily list. Uh, and you got not interested, going to be a lot on there. Okay. So you can go here to select the actual different campaigns. All right. Uh, you go here to select the users. You can have multiple users. You can use this for the date range of you may have sent out certain lists. So it's all right here. And, and actually, this interface is going to change where it's going to cover the entire screen. That'll be in a couple of months from the date of this video if we can get past this coronavirus. All right. So over here, uh, you can add notes if you want to. Uh, you can add reminders by adding different tasks. So all of that. So um, I want to get the interface of it, part of it out of the way. And then we can get over here um, to how to set everything up. So I just want to let you see what you're actually uh, what what you're getting into and how how it can be used. Um, before I do that, I want to go through a couple of more of these. Let me go back to um, uh, unread messages. All right. So we look at this one. Um, just look at the dialogue here, which that was a long conversation. Now, who are you? Warren, uh, thank you for replying. I'm Cat with CashBuyer.com. We ran a, we're, we're an investment company that buy and hold real estate. We're interested in buying the address. Would you be interested in selling? This is Kim Bryant, Warren's wife. We are not, uh, sure who you are. Depends on what you're offering. Okay, great. The property is in good, fair, condition. occupied by a tenant. Fair. We will not accept, uh, under $250,000. We know the value of the land. All right. I so, say, okay, thank you, but I'm afraid your offer would not work for it, blah, blah, blah. And she said, thanks. So that's how, the, how, how fast your conversation can go by text message versus <laughs> anything because most people read their text messages. Um, it, the response rate is very, very high, very, very high. And this is a very inexpensive way of, uh, of trying to find leads, trying to find deals as you'll, you'll see. So now, a few things that you have to do before you even get started with the campaign. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is, is you're going to, you're going to request, um, the market that you want to, um, that you want to, um, the markets that you want to start with. So let me make sure. Get down here, right? Well, let me reduce my screen size here. Okay. All righty. So, as you see, I already have a few markets here. So, what you'll do, you want to hit add and you'll want to. Choose the state. So we'll just go with California. All right. And say you were going to choose, I don't know. We'll just say Fresno. I uh, of the smaller markets in California compared to the large ones. Now you have to, you have to include a number you're going to forward everything to. All right. So let me blow this up again. All right. So, uh, that'll be the number that you forward everything to. So you'll go ahead and create the market. I'm not going to create this one, but you'll go ahead and create the market. Okay, so once you do that, now you'll need phone numbers for that particular market. So you'll have to go in here and purchase uh, phone numbers. All right, now um, for the phone numbers, you're going to get phone. 
20 phone numbers per per market and um you choose the market that you want the phone numbers for and then you hit submit uh it's going to cost you a dollar uh for uh those phone numbers okay so um and speaking of that let me make sure that you want to um whenever you set up your account you'll have to add a, a card or whatever which it already been because whenever you set up the account to um to load the account so it'll be able to take care of purchase purchase of phone numbers and whenever you send out the uh, the messages okay so now you have uh, your phone number set up and the way it, it'll look like um, it'll look like this you'll see all the phone numbers for that particular market if I go to page four you can see I have the one phone numbers for Houston um, phone numbers uh, I think Atlanta may be well Dallas is second and then you see uh, should be one for Atlanta Oh, I never did request it for Atlanta. I just had the market. So it's for those three markets. All right. So now um, you have those two things set up. So you have your, uh, you chose your markets. You chose your phone numbers. So the next thing you need to do is set up your message templates. Okay. Now this is the one that's going to take a little time. And uh, the resource center, which um, if you go to the training center and support center, you can get help with with all of that pretty much anything the guys are good at reaching back out to you on this also all right so but uh you don't want the the, the messages are just suggestions right and like if i was going to go ahead and edit these you can see these probably better all right so you understand that it has a a, a character count here and you want to keep it under 160 you want to keep it short as possible uh, some of mine are one, uh, have 114 characters, 129, 130, 127, 104, 109. And you need 10 of these. And it's, it's, it, it may take you a couple hours to come up with. Some of you guys are a lot more creative than I am, but it took a minute to come up with these. But just to uh, give you an idea, it has hello. And whenever you're setting it up, like, uh, you want to some, not always, but you want to include that first name, like hello. We'll just say John, uh, what would it take to get and it includes the address off your hands oh this is jan you know that's the name that i use there so whenever you're creating your message and i'll just show you here because I, I don't have to say it's already saved so when you once you did a hello you select first name it's automatically going to put that field there so whenever you upload the list it's going to automatically pull that same thing with the address. It'll just automatically pull the address. You don't need to do the city and state, just the address because you're limited on your characters anyway. Sometimes addresses can be very long depending on the name of the uh, city and uh, the name of the, the actual, uh, the, 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 the name of the, of the street itself or whatever. So, um, so you want to create these. And the reason that they're going to use multiple, uh, messages, that's part of the, how you stay compliant. Uh, with the FCC when sending out text messages so it's not an actual text blast, right? You have your quick replies, which um, you're going to have the suggested quick replies or whatever, but you, again, you want to keep your stuff natural because what we don't want to happen is that everybody's sending the same thing. That's Those are red flags for carriers like T-Mobile, AT&T, Sprint, of Verizon and your message won't get sent. So we always somewhat have to work together because that's just how the system is set up or whatever. So just, just use this as a template and you come up with your own verbiage, basically saying the same thing. That's just good practices. Anyway, you want to be different than what everyone else is sending anyway. So you can stand out again. These are a good templates to set up your own quick replies. And, um, uh, but, uh, you definitely don't want to say the exact same thing. So, uh, we went through, uh, setting up the, uh, the, your market, uh, the, the phone manager, uh, to once you add your market, uh, the templates. So now, uh, let's get up setting an actual new campaign up. Okay. So now we go over here to, um, uh, create new campaign. So you want to name it. So we'll name it, um, we'll just say Birmingham. deals and then you select the market 
So Birmingham. Now, if you have Podio, you can do that. And you have different users. You may have one VR, someone that you want to do it. If you want to leave it open to everyone that's using the service, then you don't select any users. It's just going to leave it open to everybody. Then once you hit next, now you want to set the time zone because it'll matter on up to you on when messages are coming in, when you respond to them, the dates and everything. So you hit next. And you say, do you want to, uh, uh, upload contacts now? You always want to do this. Yes. Because if you don't, you're going to have to start this over. All right. So what you do is you go in here and you select, um, your actual, your, your list right here. So it'll load and then you do next. And then in here, this is where you're going to select all your phone numbers and everything. So it automatically populated everything because this list is already pretty much in here. And then you hit submit. And once you hit submit, it's now going to take you, um, over here, uh, back to, com uh, campaigns. And well, let me just go ahead and do it. All right. So you want to select a template. So we select that one. So now, uh, when it's ready to go, um, the contacts will be here and you, we'll just go back to campaigns. Now, when it's, when it's, uh, saying import contacts, you've already done it, but so now it's ready to resume sending messages. So you, what you do is you hit resume when it's ready and you start to send out the message. So what you literally have to do is you will sit here and click and send the messages. So what people are custom, a lot of people, they just upload a list and have just one click and they may send out to 2000 people. No, the carriers will block that at some point they would get blocked. Plus when you send out that many at one time, you know, you can't respond to them all because you'll get an, even if they all went out in you know, which it would be terrible, you'll get an influx of calls that you just can't handle. All right. So what you'll do is, we normally only send out in batches of 50. Now, we may do 100, 200, 300 over the course of a day, but we only normally do a batch of 50, and we may wait one to two hours before we send out another batch. Now, our number basically is between uh, 100 to 150 per day because normally you just can't respond to everybody, you know, because there's so much follow-up in this because uh, your objective really is to get them on the phone or whatever, which normally through the conversation, you'll know when it's time to get them on the phone. So what you'll do is you'll just sit here, hit send now, and it you'll have your counter. Um, I'm not going to send them, not going to not read it. I don't want to sit here and try to respond to them or whatever while I'm doing the video. Uh, so you'll hit send now. So you have your counter and which I'll just send a couple of these just for the sake of it. All right, so I've sent five of them, right? Okay, so what will happen is they'll reply back uh, to me and you go to inbox to see the replies, right? Okay, so if I just selected that particular campaign, I don't even know which one I just did. Um, no one has replied back yet because it'll pop up right here. But once they do it, I have the date and the time or whatever. And that's when you'll start to respond as I showed you, uh, earlier in this part of, of the training or whatever. So, um, that's pretty much it. Now, some good practices is whenever you're, uh, dealing with someone, be prepared again. It's why you can't send out a lot of them at once because their response rate normally is really good if you've done everything correctly. And your, your objective is obviously to find a deal, but you want to start that dialogue where you can get them on the phone, right? And you want to make sure that you're following up as quick as possible. You don't want to wait a day or so before you follow up. You really want to follow up within, within minutes. So whenever you're sending out a campaign, be prepared to just sit around and just monitor this for a couple of hours is really what you want to do. Now, there are going to be some updates to the system where you're going to have an option where you can get alerts on your phone or in your email to show when someone has replied. That should be coming in the next couple of months whenever the actual interface changes and everything. But the objective here is to get them on the phone 
so you can negotiate. But you can ask a lot of questions, see how motivated they are through text messaging. But um, we all know the numbers on text messaging. If you'll just look here, which I've, I probably already have mentioned if I haven't, but 90% of text messages are read within three seconds. 98% of text messages are read, uh, read by the recipient. Uh, 35% of response rates are del delivered from text messages. That's unbelievable. When you're dealing with direct mail, you're happy if you can get 1% to respond to you, but 35%? Now, all of those are not going to be deals by no means, but if 35% respond to you, that's just an unbelievable response rate. It's unbelievable. So if done correctly, this is a game changer for most people. Remember, you can sign up for this um, at text text to flip.com and you can take advantage of your first 500 minutes for only one dollar you'll be able to see pricing and everything here also so uh, hopefully this particular video helps and uh, we'll see you guys on the flip side Flip man, flip man, huh. it's the flip man. Flip man, flip man. You want some money in your hand? In your hand. Flipping houses without credit or your cash. cash. Get that bag.